just arrived in Mancha Blanca. It's like a little 30 minute bus ride, it's not too far. Um, so today I'm going to do the Caldra Blanca hike, a little volcano walk again. Uh, I think this one's a bit further than the other ones that I did. So I'll see if I want to go all the way around the rim. Apparently it can be quite windy up there. Luckily it's not too windy today, so we'll see. And if it's too windy, you shouldn't walk around the room because that's dangerous. Um, and so yeah, I'll maybe just walk to it and have a look or I'll maybe walk all the way around. Anyway, it's only like 11.30, so that's perfect. This is meant to be a good one. So let's go find out. like the surroundings around here. Like look at all of these volcanoes. They're all around. If you can see them here, you know. But like I just went for a little walk along this road and, and it just like the scenery was just so beautiful. I think especially for today because there's not a cloud in the sky. But I did not expect to look this great. So this is our first little part. I'm just walking along the road through Mancha Blanca because of course I took the bus here. So it's not going to take me directly to the path um, or to the actual parking. But that's perfect because now I get to have a little walk through this lovely little town. you know most people are still driving this part and already just a few hundred meters down a little bit of road we have reached car parks so that was not far at all from taking the bus absolutely perfect just take the bus to Mancha Blanca and soon you'll walk to the car parks and the real walk is going to be in busy in this car park volcano over here. It's lovely. And the car park is really busy but there's currently no one. So perfect. A little tip, definitely wear proper shoes for this. Even just trainers. The example of trainers that I meant to show. We're fine just because it's just rocky the whole way. So no flip flops. Don't do it. Look at this. surprised because also quite beautiful okay, so I'm getting much closer that one is right there I think there are two there's a small one and a bigger one so that's the smaller one but that was super super chill very flat, you can walk it fast, just obviously like rocky but nothing bad rocky. Can I go and ride the base of this one? Not so rocky now. And then I guess reach, oh I see some people away up there. So that must be where we're heading. As always, I am super confused and I have no idea which path I'm meant to take because I thought there were some people coming up this way and then I decided actually this looked like the best way up because I don't know if you can get up that way or that's just people like going for a casual little walk, you know, the ones who aren't actually climbing up. I see many people climbing up this, this part, they're all much higher up and I just don't know how you actually get there. Okay, so it turns out you just keep following the proper path and don't try to go off path and make your own little path like I apparently keep trying to do. So we're on route. I did it again, I swear, I just did it again. There's a little here, just a little fork. Then I'm like, 
like, I'm not going to take the one that the other people are going up because this one looks quicker. You can't go that way. Walk with a real damn path. Don't be like me. But I'm getting there. I finally found a little spot that is not super windy. It's kind of scary because you're literally on the rim and it's really, really windy. Maybe I've got a fear of heights that I didn't really know about. I don't know. Anyway, it's really amazing. But yeah. Ah. <laughs> everyone came here much earlier in the day and I've already left. Plus I'm definitely not getting the bus back that I was going to because I got up here and I was like no I gotta see up here and just admire this view. Um, so no rush right now because I've got a long time till the next bus. Okay it's time to head back down now but that was amazing. The two other people who are up there, they just left like five minutes or so ago. And that's amazing. It's to be up there alone. Let's just head down not too far behind them, just in case. I don't know what's going to happen, but you know. There are also some little goats down here. Very cute. So let's go head back down and head back to Mancha Blanca. Okay, the way down is freaking cool because you just get to see all of this insane view which obviously it was behind me on the way up here. Ah, oh, how amazing. So I'm just gonna face this little view for the next however long and head back down and then the path, the more straightforward path back into town. I'm literally just flown by to Taylor on the way down this volcano and I tell you, that's a pretty good thing to do. Let's see if I can catch up with people. Well, I can't see them because they're like little ants. They're getting further away, but I think I can catch up with them. But not if I keep stopping to tell you what's going on. I mean, how's that for a Monday walk? Is it Monday? I'm pretty sure it's Monday. Yeah, how's that for a Monday walk? I'd say it's a pretty great Monday walk. What do you think? Can you beat it? Even the view the other way, so this side, like all around, that's just me. All around me is just amazing views. And you know how much I love an amazing view. right now. I think because there's just like no one here besides those two people who I am catching up with. Um, 
I think I'm on like a hiker's high because you know I haven't had a runner sign in a long time so I've not ran in like a couple of months, two or three months now because you know injured. Um, so I think the new thing is a hiking high and I'm really here for it. I love it. How cool though that there's like no one up here. Like there were people earlier, like there were quite a lot of people and like there were loads of cars in the car park and now there's just no one, minus the two people in front. Um, and the goats, <laughs> but we love the goats. And there's a cute little bird hanging around too. Um, yeah, how cool. So remember, you don't have to be like other people and you do not have to do things early in the morning. But do work there around the buses if you're taking the bus because they're not very frequent. So I have to get the next bus. Okay, I overtook the people. So we're good. I'm not the last one. Did I like fall over? Hopefully they'll help me. I don't know. <laughs> but, but do be careful when you're traveling solo. I mean, I'm not always the most careful. But do be careful. I'm so glad that I have come for this hike today. So I woke up this morning and I was a bit like, I can't really be bothered. Like yesterday I was so tired and I didn't really know if I had it in me today or if I was gonna like enjoy it, be a bit like, oh, I don't really feel like walking much. Oh, but it's so good to have been out here. Like I love, love, loved it. I'm loving it. Um, Yeah, so I've been planning to do that for ages, like a week, over a week. I don't know, I have completely lost track of time, like, no idea. Anyway, for what well, feels like a while, but not like that long, you know? Um, so finally did it today, and uh, now I'm so, so glad I did, and I'm so glad that I did not skip it. Um, yeah, really, really would have been missing out had I not come at all. And I'm really glad I went all the way to the rim, because then I thought maybe I'd just like stop at the top, and that's definitely absolutely fine to do. Oh. Um, like it's still amazing even if you don't even come up this bit at all and just do the first initial bit of walk like even like there were people with kids and stuff so perhaps some of them were just doing that part and it's still amazing just to see the surroundings and there and walk to the bottom of the volcanoes but yeah then going up to the rim it was just oh even better even better you kept going around and then that view just now coming back down Amazing, amazing, amazing. So yeah, very, very happy I came out here today and you should do it too.